Now, I, as I leave you, I'll share with you the overall beautiful, beautiful architecture of this surah. In my estimation, the surah can be broken up into five distinct parts. The first part, if you remember, were people questioning Judgment Day. That passage, right? That's one passage. Then Allah described how this life was created in pairs and pairs create new life. And He made us look all around us, the mountain, the earth, you know, the, the sleep, the tent, all of it, right? And then the rain and the produce coming out in the gardens. That's your second passage. The third passage is, إِنَّ يَوْمَ الْفَصْلِ كَانَ مِيقَاتًا The day of separation. That has been an appointed day. When mountains sail. Right, that, that, that particular scene. Then, so that's three now, right? Let's see if you remember them. What was the first one? Questioning judgment day. Second one? Life in pairs, worldly life in pairs. And then the third one? Judgment day. And then that judgment day will lead. That's a, there's a continuity, right? They're questioning it. Allah says, why are you questioning it? There's enough evidence all around you. That was second passage. That passage should lead you to believe in a judgment day. That judgment day is going to lead to only two destinations, which are what passage? You know, four and five are going to be, we'll merge them together as, as four, uh, is heaven and hell. There's only these two destinations. And then the final passage, which we just went through, is humility on judgment day. Angels are standing humble before Allah. Nobody gets to speak. Even the disbelievers begging that they were dirt. So we return back to judgment day. So now appreciate this. The first passage was people being obnoxious about judgment day, wasn't it? And the, by the last passage, they're humble. Nobody speaks. لا يملكون منه خطابا يقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا وقال صوابا No more nonsense. No more asking sarcastic questions. Everybody says the right thing. Nobody speaks nonsense anymore. You see how the tables have turned? When Allah said they will know how well they know when judgment day begins. They're humble. You see the, the connection between the beginning and the end? Now look at the second thing Allah mentioned. The second thing Allah mentioned was that this life is in pairs. And then by contrast, the next life, the pairs are separated. Either you're in heaven or you're in hell. This life, next life. And right in the middle is the argument for resurrection day itself. And look at the continuity. This life, judgment day, next life. And what, what everything hangs in the balance of judgment day. Judgment day determines where everything goes. The evaluation of the previous life and the reward of the next life. SubhanAllah. It's a perfect symmetry centered on one thing, centered on judgment day. And if you realize that, you'll realize something else about this surah. It began with judgment day, questioning it. It ended with just judgment day, the humility of it. And the center of it is also judgment day. It's, it's this perfect literary symmetry in the Quran. May Allah Azza wa Jalla help us appreciate the beauty and the power of His Word. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim. Wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.